Hi all, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your WordPress websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. In this quick video, I want to show you how you can install and activate Elementor Pro using the latest activation method in the latest Elementor software. I already made a video on how to install and activate Elementor Pro long time ago and the method was outdated and people are still watching that video. So in this video, I'll show you how easy it is to activate Elementor Pro on both your live sites and also your local sites. In fact, I'll show you the same method using local site. As you can see here, I'm actually running a site on local by flywheel. And when I click on admin, you can see that I'm actually brought to this dashboard, this particular WordPress site dashboard. This is my local site and I'll show you how to activate Elementor Pro. The first thing is that you need to go to my.elementor.com and then log in with your credentials after buying or purchasing Elementor Pro. So once you're lag logged in to your dashboard, you can simply go to the plan where you can see a link to download this plugin. It will always have the link to the latest version of Elementor Pro. So I'll just click on download plugin and it will download it to my computer. If you're like me using Safari, the zip file may be auto extracted and it may be presented in the form of a folder. All you can do is right click on it and click on compress Elementor Pro. So that would actually make it into a zip file that you can upload to your WordPress dashboard. Well, we'll now go to our WordPress dashboard, click on plugins, click on add new. So from here, we'll just upload the file that we have downloaded from Elementor website. So once I've chosen the file, you can simply click on install now that will install the pro version of Elementor. You can now simply click on activate plugin. And by the time you click on activate plugin, make sure you're also logged into your Elementor dashboard because that makes it quite easy. You don't have to take another step. So make sure you're already logged into your Elementor account in your Elementor website and in your website where you have uploaded this Elementor Pro plugin, just click on activate plugin. And once you click on activate plugin, this is the screen that you'll see on your WordPress dashboard. So this is actually a local site. Believe me or not, you can activate your plugin on your local site as well. So just upload this plugin to your local site or live site. It doesn't matter which kind of site you've uploaded to. You generally upload it to your live site or the site on which you actually want to use Elementor. But since most of us are actually testing out Elementor Pro building sites on local copies before we push it to a live server, this is a game changer. And all you need to do is to click on connect and that would instantly activate Elementor Pro without any problem. That's it. That's how you install and activate Elementor Pro. I just click on connect and that's it. I'm done. So once you've connected your site active, you can go to your account, which will actually take you to Elementor account or if you have a client that has bought his own license, you can simply click on switch account and log in with different credentials, maybe the client's username and password, and that would change the license from yours to your client's license. It's that easy switching between licenses using the latest method in Elementor Pro. And that's it. That's a quick video. And there are a couple of reasons you want to activate Elementor Pro on your local site. The first one, is when you're building a staging environment. So when you're doing it, you want to test out and make sure that all the plugins such as Croc Block, Unlimited Elements, or maybe any other plugins that you've installed and all the add-ons work perfectly fine and they won't throw up any errors with the latest version of Elementor. This is highly essential. And the second reason is that when you activate your Elementor Pro license on a local site or a live site, Basically, local site is the one that rests on your uh, own computer and a live site is one that is resting on a server with your hosting provider handling it. So no matter where you activate it, you'll just get updates and you can test out each new version of Elementor Pro when you activate your license. And the second thing is if you activate Elementor Pro on your local site, you also get access to all the templates provided within the Elementor library. So that's a quick overview of how to install and activate Elementor Pro. Hope you guys liked it. You can skip the old method of activation. You can follow this method that I just showed you. I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.